All right, we're back live here, folks. Day two of the install. Lots a whole lot has transpired since you were last here. I'm trying to talk with the uh, without the wind. So here is the schletter. We poured concrete early this morning. What time concrete get here, boss? 8.30. 8.30 we poured our concrete. Hope it ain't too windy on this thing. I'm trying to really talk close. So our solar panels came in didn't have uh didn't want to buy a whole pallet so we got them got these solar panels they're created up nicely by the company we bought them from thank you timmy tuttle you're watching buddy so um got some high quality german solar panels they're high quality german solar brand these are Axitec 295s. Closest panel I could find to really match. There's the Ceneva. There's that one. So pretty close in size and a little, little more power, but uh, very close in size and color. Aesthetic is always important. So we kind of kicked this one out. This is that West Facing Solar Array. And uh, going on the charge controller. So... I got a call yesterday from one of you YouTube viewers asking me which charge controller to use. The best answer I can give you on that is, you know, you need to pick a system and stay with it. So, so if you if you don't know what a charge controller is and you're watching this video, the panels are getting wired together in groups of three. So on this array, we got one, two, three, and then right there we take the positive and the negative we take it all the way back into this combiner box we go into this combiner box the positive feeds the breaker the negative the dirt dropper dust in there the negative uh, goes into a bus bar and each group of three panels gets combined oh man engineers going live too each group of solar panels gets combined into a uh, into one circuit and that's coming back through here you can see them that's number four wire and uh, number four is good for about 80 amps which this solar array does not make 80 amps of charging current on a it's coming back at around 90 volts maybe 150 volts it's got 150 volt open circuit limit but uh, it's coming back at around 90 volts and so we just kind of, you know, we pull that big wire for a couple different reasons. We don't, we don't want voltage drop, don't want to lose any power. And then another reason is there's 80 amp breakers on that GSLC on that radian. So put a number four wire on it. So one thing I'm really glad we did here is put this gutter in, a wire away. And that just makes it really easy to get into your system and add stuff later. Chances are your customers are going to want to do more. Got all this equipment open. This is his transfer switch. So this is like a cascading power system. He's got he's got grid power here. And then right here he's got generator power if he wants it in his transfer switch. That's what a transfer switch looks like. I don't know if you guys can see that very well, but those are the grid ductors. You can see that transfer switch is made in the grid connection right now. And then these smaller conductors are the, the generator. So if he hooks the generator up, he makes this side of the transfer switch hot and he can throw that switch and feed power into this panel. Now in this panel, he has all of his loads that he wants to run off of the generator. This, this, uh, this panel has a circuit for the radian to feed into the generator input of the radian. It's very important that you differentiate your generator input to your bi-directional hybrid inverters you want to have they, a lot of them have a generator input and a, and a, a grid input you got to make sure that they're you don't get those confused because if the generator comes on and starts feeding power to the input of the uh, the grid input of your inverter then you're going to have some problems tearing up generators and such so now that he's got a generator we're running that circuit for his generator input and his radian 
And uh, next thing we'll do after we get this solar array built up, is we'll take you in there and show you the charge controllers and the power room and what we're doing with the water heater to give him the ability to heat water with this, with the grid, with the generator, or with solar without doing some crazy setup. So I hope you guys, hope you guys are liking these videos. I'm sorry for the wind. Like, subscribe, gain solar.